guys, Trickshot here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make rhythm dubstep. Now, with this video, I did copy that pretty much just like bootlegged uh, the Wubix, uh 10 minute challenge video, and I I pretty much like remade the bases with some new ones, did the arrangement differently, and just added more. And I want to go over the sound design process a bit more because there's not really much explanation about it. Anyway, let's get on to the first base. Now the first base is just a, all these are just FM and either like combs or flanger automation phaser bases, pretty much. Not really like the phaser bases that you would hear from like all five, but just like. So on this first one, we have basic LFO, we have FM from B, we have this remap thing, which is pretty much just remapping the sign we have wave table position level basic stuff and then we have a a combs plus with cutoff automations resonance a little meaty filter key track button enabled and for effects we have hyperdimension distortion eq phaser and compressor compressor is just multi-band threshold etc etc all very basic eqing and just a bit of a just giving it a growly or growly valley texture that's pretty much sums up all these bases in general this one's just the same exact thing but with a flanger and and a band reject band reject was used for everything but the first one so i mean <laughs> The band reject really does give it that feeling. Uh, this sub is just very basic sub with sausage fattener and EQ to get out all those nasty like mids and high mids. Make it a very clean sub and a sound geyser to kind of fatten it. Next is another FM base with the same remap, but it's kind of better because I did it better. <laughs> same flanger, but this time it's automating the cutoff. Phaser, EQ, filter, chorus, compressor. Filter is still the same, band reject around the same. I always do this thing with the EQ. Just making those peaks collide. This is just a fast, like, machine gun base. Pretty much both default wavetables, FM from B, high notch, and then in the effects I have a flanger minus with a bunch of automations on the filter, phaser, as always, and the compressor. This is a Screech FM base. 50% FM, high notch, a whole bunch of effects just to really give it distortion. I didn't get to use that one. Then a Yoi bass. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. The mastering is pretty much just a minus 12 dip or minus like 20 ish uh, dip and then i just maximized and eq'd it a bit and that's that's pretty much it for mixing and mastering wise the rest of it's just normal eq and distortion ott this is my bass rack which is a bit a bit weird i usually don't like have like a separate rack that i just throw on everything because it really depends on like the bases and the song that you're making but anyway this is the full song
on vacation, but tomorrow I have a big announcement coming up, and it's a big contest that a lot of people have been waiting for, and I can't wait to present it to everyone and then actually judge everything off of that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope everyone has an amazing day. Thank you. Getting good to start. It's very abstract. Just trying to describe things in a way that's easy to change. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I think we can make arrows explode when they hit the ground and stuff.